We love a drink. And I, I think we've definitely got issues in this country with drink. And I, you know we have, right? Because we drink anywhere. It doesn't matter. Airports. What are we doing in the airport, man? I was in an airport recently, right? I was flying to... Uh, well, it doesn't matter because it didn't happen. But... <laughs> I haven't even got a dad, what a ridiculous job. Um, I, I heard these two people talking, right? And I just zoned into it, it was brilliant. Like, John, John, what time is it? 10 to four in the morning. Do you fancy a pint? <laughs> yeah, go on, I'll have a pint, yeah. Get a couple, we're on holiday, aren't we? No, mate, you're in Manchester. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Through those automatic doors, this is a drink problem. This flight's cancelled, you've got to drive home. Who are you flying with? Thomas Cook. Stop drinking! <laughs> the gate's closing, get another three in. Don't happen on any other form of transport, does it? It's weird. You don't see people at six in the morning waiting for the number 38 bus to Derby <laughs> drinking cans of Kestrel, do you? You probably do, actually. That's a bad example. <laughs> not done my research there, have I? We've accepted that as normal. It is not normal. Imagine that middle of the night, you're in bed. Yeah. Yeah, and your partner comes in. Here. Get up. What time is it? Ten to four in the morning. Are you awake? Is the house on fire? No, I just wondered. Do you fancy a pint? Have you? Have you lost your mind, John? It's the middle of the night. Come on, I've lined up a couple of Jaeger bombs on the dishwasher. Thought we could make a night of it. A night of it, it's a Tuesday. Got to be up for work in three hours. Just have a Baileys, it'll help you sleep. <laughs> I want to drink. <laughs>